Ready or not. Fallon Taylor, little lady with a great challenge in front of her. This is Flo, baby Flo. <laughs> she wins the world championship. Or... And the winner's circle for that cowgirl. And the victory lap. Alan Taylor will win. She's riding a new horse, a young horse, out of a champion Flo. She has absolutely been unstoppable. What's up, Flomies? Welcome back to my channel. You guys, if you've ever wanted an action-packed vlog that you like needed more popcorn for with all kind of plot twists and crazy stuff, this is the one. I'm gonna take you with me to Clovis to see if Hush Money qualifies for her very first short round at a big giant limited entry pro rodeo with $30,000 added. I'm gonna take you to a WPRA tour rodeo where C Money is gonna make the run of her life and I'm gonna take you home because we have a brand new foal. You're gonna to wanna to hang around and check it out. Let's get started. We got to make some runs in Clovis right now. Today is a crazy gorgeous sunny day in California. It's like 65 degrees and the wind's blowing. No complaints from us. This is absolutely amazing. At home it's like a cold front and 30 degrees. So we are not complaining. Um, I am so excited to run here because Clovis is the very first average that Baby Flo and I ever won and kind of what sparked me knowing that my tiger had changed its stripes, that we had retrained, that we had been better than 2013, and that we were now able to run in 2014 a lot stronger. So this rodeo is what really propelled my confidence like to level 10. And I'm so excited to run Hush Money here, hoping that that same confidence boost comes. Um, it's a standard pattern. Of course, we would like to be in the low 17 fives. That would really get us in. Um, they're gonna win it with like a 16.9 or a 17.0, so we're just gonna go in and try to ride really, really good and build some confidence. Here I come. You can't hide. Gonna find you and take it slow. Thank you. The run was so good. I was a 1739. I'm so pumped. Last week at the rodeo in Red Bluff, I was one or two out of coming back to the top 36. So my big goal was to come back in the top 36 here. I accomplished that. We ended up 14th out of everybody here, including all of the best in the world. I'm so, so, so excited, or most of the best in the world. Um, we were two out of getting a check. So now 
the goal is to get a check. If I just come back and run another 1739, my chances are really high that I will be in the top 12 in the aggregate that they'll bring back to the short round on Sunday. I know that's a lot of information, but they'll add up our two runs, top 12, come back for the final round on Sunday. We're hoping that we get to stay here for another few days, enjoy the sunshine, and let Hush Money really show what she's made of. So once again, Clovis provides a confidence boost. I hope that you find your confidence boost today. You guys, hang tough, and let's get ready for round two. I don't think it's going to be enough to get me back in the short round, but as of right now, I am currently sitting in eighth spot. So I've got to wait for another day full of barrel racers. There's going to be 12 barrel racers. And if five of them bump me, I'm going home empty handed without that Sunday run. But if just four of them bump me, I get to come back for another short go run. So we're going to wait around for a day. I'm going to make a run on Flowbot at a jackpot. I'm not going to run Hush Money because I'm going to let her preserve some of that short round energy. Let's go see what Flowbot can do. Here we go. Baby, what you get your body from? Tell me what you get your body from. Baby, what you get your body from? Tell me what you get your body from. I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. I got it from my mama. I got it. Got it. Well, Flowbot did amazing. I'm so, so proud. Um, we had a really great run and we had a really great time. Um, I won some money. I won seventh in the 1D with a 17.7. I also won third in the Future Fortune side pot. So really, really excited about that. And you guys, we didn't make it back to the short round, but we were very, very close. I was actually two or one out of making it back to the short round. So if you can go back a few vlogs, if you're being discouraged about your goals, I want you to go back and see how this works in layers. First goal was to get her pro rodeo ready. I failed and failed and failed and then got there. Then it was to win a check. She did that at the first rodeo. Then it was to make it back at a major rodeo in the short round. Um, we were just out of it at Red Bluff. We made it back to the second round um, in a perf at Clovis. And now we're just out of the short round. So if you see how this goes, just incremental. 1% at a time is plenty enough progress as long as you just keep moving forward. Slowing down or failing does not mean stopping. It just means 
you are just progressing a little bit slower and sometimes that's really great for us because there's a lot to be learned in those moments. You learn in your failures, not in your victories. So make sure to give yourself a little bit more grace when you don't do exactly how you want to do. All right, it's time to go to Holotus. This is a WPRA Tour Rodeo. I won this rodeo like in 97 with True Identity, um, who is now retired, but he's still with us. He's 31 years old. Um, so this is a really cool rodeo. It's called the Corny Val. They legit have like a corn on the cob mascot running around and it's like a corn festival, but we're gonna be in there in slack. Nobody in the stands, nobody's gonna be there. Um, so I wish we were in a perf, but this helps us make it to a lot more rodeos. So check out this slack run of Hush Money. Still going bad on you. Another incredible run. I didn't let her run hard enough to the first barrel because I honestly keep thinking about her being really green and she keeps telling me that she's ready for me to push her really hard. And I'm just like, Ugh. So it's time for me to trust her a lot more at the next rodeo. But I want you guys to see how beautiful Sea Money's run is. Check it out right here. Still going bad on you. I know she hit a barrel, but you guys, she had one stirrup. She left the alleyway with one stirrup, no rubber bands. Sis was right out of the gate with one stirrup and put her horse in the perfect position at the first, the most flawless second barrel. Third barrel, mwah. I know you guys can see what's happening with Cody, um, but her riding went from beginner, beginner, intermediate, intermediate, advanced, advanced, professional. And now we're fighting brand new battles and I'm showing her new things and getting her even more locked in um, just as her friend, her mentor, her coach, all of those things um, because she's now at another level. So I'm so excited if you guys catch any of the earlier vlogs to see how far she's come. Um, she has an unfair advantage by being super fearless having a great mindset and being very sticky. So this isn't gonna happen for everyone, but we're super excited about where she's at right now and can't wait for the next rodeo. One thing that I wanna say is that I'm very, very passionate about the horse bosses um, and the group that I run online and the lessons that I give and I'm super, super passionate about it. And this chick is Brittany and she's a friend of mine. She's a wonderful chick and she got a new horse and she's been a horse boss. How long have you been a horse boss? Almost two years. Like two years. And we've just gotten closer. She's, her and her husband have come to see us run at San Antonio and all these different places and just invested a lot in believing in my journey as well. And as part of believing in hers, this is a surprise to her. I did not schedule this out until like a half an hour ago, um, but she's been having trouble with hitting barrels and has cleaned that up herself. And since she cleaned it up herself, um, and also this is a tidbit, never invest in somebody that isn't willing to invest in themselves. Um, because in the past I've invested in people that didn't show the hard work first and that will always get you caught up. So she invested in cleaning this up herself. Now I get to come in and put the, just the icing on top and make it perfect. If you're not already a horse boss, make sure to get in before the May challenge starts. Um, or be ready. You can go to thehorseboss.com and find all the info there. Tons of stuff on my Instagram if you want to go follow me, but, um, I did a surprise drop in. So let's go help her. Two hands, straighten your shoulders and your body, straight. Now turn, pretty. Same thing at the third, pick that piece of grass. Straight, pretty. Okay, so do you see this? Yes. I want you to put her front feet. Never go like this. Square your shoulders up and drive forward. Knick knack will teach you some lessons. <laughs> I used to do it. So square your shoulders up. Anytime you feel yourself losing control, 
your job is gonna be get square. So before you go back through, just go to your first right now, and I, I wanna remote control Brittany, okay? So Simon says here, trot by me all the way to the grass. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, now go to your third, do the same thing. Just turn right there, go beside your third, and I want you to get in a lot closer to your third when you head to it. Okay, okay? closer, closer. There, go straight to the grass. Yeah, see, there's our hole. Good, stop right there. Speed, to the fence, to the fence, to the fence. There you go, stop her. Pet her right there. Go really close to your third and you wanna really move because we're in a teaching moment and then we're gonna give her a big break after we get it perfect. Straight to that third. Right when you get even with it, speed up, go to the grass. Yeah. Pretty. Okay, trot, 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 fast, fast, fast. Just turn your first right there. Okay, it's time to go home because I got a phone call that we got a brand new baby. You guys, this is what we've been waiting for. Um, you guys have seen Jessie not riding Neffy. Obviously, she was in full with Harlow. <laughs> and she's fold out. Harlow's learned to walk all the stuff and things, but she hasn't been riding because I bred her mare. Now, the reasons I bred her mare are not controversial, but everybody's got a different opinion on as mares get older, should you keep flushing them or should you let them have their own colt one year um, so that you can continue to flush them. It's something about the number of eggs that they release um, during the years. So this year, since Jesse was in full, we decided Nephi needed to be in full at the same time. Um, so we did that and, well, let's just, Cody, play the baby music. It's time to meet our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous new baby boy. Mama. Hi, Mama. Wow, oh my God. Wow. Hi, sweet baby. Hi. Oh, it's okay. Oh, yeah, Mama, it's okay. So he is obviously out of Nephi and the amazing stallion winner's version speed index 103 he's produced $5 million. He stands at high point performance horses and he's big and brown and has, I think one or two little white socks. And it's interesting because this guy is kind of a spitting image clone of that horse, which is really, really cool. As long as we get Nephi's mindset, she's a perfectionist. Um, and that I feel like she's always super, super consistent. Um, if we can get those things along with that 103 speed index, I'm very excited. So I hope you guys are excited to welcome another baby to the family because we are so excited to have him here. We do have an Egyptian theme with all of Nephi's babies, and this one is no exception. So we're throwing around some ideas. Love to hear your ideas in the comments. Everything's gonna start out with a flows whatever because of flowers and money that all of these great mares are out of. So you guys think of some names that are Egyptian themed and put those below. All right, on to the next rodeo. <laughs> That's it for today, you guys. I hope that this was everything your heart desired for crazy action. I can't wait to see you next time. We are actually on our way to Oklahoma for the very next rodeo where we are gonna have four rodeos in three days. Four rodeos over five days, something like that. Rodeo math, it's hard. That's it for today, you guys. Don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.